big changes to the Ford Fieldhouse at Grand Rapids Community College. I got to see some of the upgrades unveiled today and talk with students thrilled to see such an investment in their school. In fact, it's now better equipped to host national sporting events. Nicole Horton had leg surgery recently, but wheelchair or not, she's in the exercise science program at GRCC and wanted to see the Ford Fieldhouse upgrades in person. It's miraculous. I mean, they've turned a hallway into a whole different, you know, it's completely opposite than what it was before. They've put in study spaces. It's like they're promoting that they want students to be in the Ford Fieldhouse. We didn't have that before. There was no place for students to um, mingle or sit and work on schoolwork. The $8 million project started last May. All paid for through college savings, they upgraded and added new equipment to the fitness center, added two additional courts and new portable basketball hoops, revamped the locker rooms. This is like state-of-the-art equipment. Among those in town to tour the facility, President Gerald Ford's oldest son, Mike. Our family knows, and, you know, sports, wellness, uh, Competition was a big part of my, my father's life, and uh, so if he were here, um, he would be thrilled. Now, I know you're an athlete, but what does this mean really to the student body as a whole? I, th I think it's good. I mean, I think that it encouraged more people to take wellness, physical education courses. Now, there's actually nice facilities. Luring in more students and also more spectators. In the past, the facility couldn't be used in warm weather because it didn't have air conditioning. So with LED lighting and a refurbished floor, it's now suited to host national events. It's finally nice to get some air conditioning. <laughs> um, really helps to bring people into the into the exercise science field to improve their health overall in general, to bring them into a more healthy lifestyle. One of the biggest things that I've done with my research with one of the professors here is that they're taking out all the physical education out of schools and they're making that less of a priority. We're here with GRCC, the fact that they re Vamped the whole Ford Field House. It's showing that they think it's important that we need it for our students. Built in 1976, costing $5 million then, the field house was originally called the Gerald R. Ford Health and Physical Education Center. The renovations added quite a bit, including new equipment in the fitness center, also used by community members belonging to the health club.